got a Samsung printer with an automatic document feeder and this has happened. Stay tuned and I'll show you how to fix it. This is a known failure point on the Samsung printers, so it's pretty easy to change if you know how. The first thing you're going to do is take this document feeder off. If like me you've still got one hinge remaining, undo the two screws that hold the hinge onto the ADF. You do have to pull up on the hinge so you can get the screwdriver in there. And you should be able to just remove that. There we go. Next there's a little panel there, if you can take that off. Inside is a little plug, you should be able to just wobble that out. I have a set of replacement hinges, these are only $10 online, delivered. Here's the new hinge and it's just got a protrusion on the end there that's stopping it coming out and you can see it's shaped either way so that it can go in or out. Looking down the hole that the hinge is fitted into, there's a little plastic strip across there and that hits the protrusion that's on the hinge. I've cut a strip off an aluminium can here and I'm going to put it in there just to protect that little stop so that I don't damage it pulling this out. I have a small pair of uh, multi-grip pliers here, I'm going to use them. I'll just get rid of the old spring that's in there, pull that up and grab it with my pliers as far down as I can and I should be able to just pull it out. There it goes. There's a little plastic stop and it's still in good condition, I haven't damaged it. I need to remove the old hinge out of the top of the uh, document feeder. Uh, reassembly is simply to install the new hinges. And then simply drop the document feeder into the holes. Now refit the plug in the socket and pop the little cover back on. And that's all there is to it, your automatic document feeder is ready to go. I hope that was helpful and thank you so much for watching.